All right, it is time for another review of a product. The product I want to review this time is the good old desktop Refine USB microphone. I have never, never used a USB microphone other than the one that I have on my head now. But as far as a microphone for the desk or one of these microphones on a boom that plugs into USB, I have never used one. This is the only USB microphone I ever used. So I wanted to do a review on this microphone because one thing I like about it being on a stand, which the stand comes with it, the stand will come off of it. And the cord is six foot long. The stand itself is metal. It's not plastic. Um, that's solid metal. Well, I do believe it's actually... Let's see. Yeah, it's actually not showing that it's hollow. It's actually solid. Nice rubber feet on each of the legs. This does turn off here. And it does have the right size and threads that will fit right here. So I can actually take this microphone off and actually have this mounted here if I really wanted to. That's nice to have it so it's universal regardless if you want it on a desktop or not. So if you're sitting in a studio like I am, you can actually put it up on the mic boom. But if you're on a laptop, traveling or you know want to be mobile this would be ideal to use has adjustable for whatever angle that you need the volume control is right here you don't have to actually go into your sound card in the computer itself to control the volume so you can have this sitting on the desk and you see the platform footprint is not really that big I can actually hold it all in my hand the microphone is roughly four inches from here to here you look real close you can see basically through it you can see the diaphragm in there right there see them little dots up in there a the little disc that's the microphone itself now it does not pick up from this side it only picks up from the front. If when you have it on a desk, you're talking. Like I said, it worked real well for microphones as on a laptop if you want to be portable. Like if you want to do interviews or anything like that, you can pop up your, uh, open your laptop, sit this on a desk, ready to go, or put on a microphone boom. So let's go ahead and plug this in and let's see what the quality of the audio itself will be now the hertz on it is very low okay now i have this microphone plugged in but i have not got it uh used in the software yet it's still on this microphone so let me switch let me mute this video and then i'm going to transfer it over to this microphone itself. Let me mute here.
works better if you actually unmute the microphone. I can tap on it all I want, but if you have it muted or the volume turned all the way down, it does not work. So this is actually how the microphone sounds. Now, for making podcasts, as you can see the audio here as I'm talking, you can hear the difference of making the audio louder as I'm pointing it straight at me. Now, if I'm talking from behind it, I'm not getting that much of audio. But if I put it in front of me, the audio is definitely louder because it's not that loud back here. But it is loud up on this one. Now, the volume itself is very uh sensitive i'm going it's maxed out right now now you can go to uh, go into your uh, sound card and turn the inputs of the us port that you have it plugged into you can turn it up and down to make this more sensitive right now i have mine set i do believe like 80 percent of volume and i have this turned all the way up now i'm going to turn it 50 percent Now that is set at 50% and you can hear the difference. Now I'm going to turn it wide open as I'm talking and you'll be able to hear the uh, difference and I'm going to turn it at 25% and here it is 25% and you can tell what it is and here it is 50% right here is 50% and here is 75% and here is 100%. Now you can hear the tone compared to the other microphones that I have recorded on. Now let me give you a little bit of close up of what the microphone looks like itself. Let me switch screens and I'm going to continue to use this microphone to record as I switch it over to there. Now this is the microphone itself on Amazon which there is a link in the description below to go to this page. Now as you can see right now it's $29.99 as I am making this video it may be more it may be less at the time that you see this video now let me roll over to the video of the picture to give you a real close picture of the structure of the microphone itself you see the diaphragm right in there that I was showing you earlier there's the volume control now right there where the microphone attaches to the um, the frame itself you can unscrew that and it will come apart that the wire is still attached to it but you can mount it on a different stand if you like and it, right there in the middle there is where it unscrews and you can mount it on a microphone boom here is the USB port that it uses let's go to another here we go just a different angle let's go to another one it does pivot right there like I showed you earlier you can't right there in the middle where I said you can actually take that lock nut off and actually you can see the microphone is turned to the side right now so you can angle it sideways or you can actually make it point directly upward you see the microphone is directly on the opposite side of where it's mounted onto the stand. As you can see here, it actually is on the side. So this pivots, you know, different angles. And that's the volume. As I was showing you, ten, you know, 25%, 50%, and 100% control. Here it is that you can look, use it on a laptop. And this is the, uh, let's see, what is it? Audacity. Uh, recording software it, which is one that I use to make podcasts and it works great because you have volume control on the microphone and in the software itself and also the software has a EQ where you can change the tones of the microphone recording so make it even more uh, tailored to the tone that you want it and here is an another software that I don't have any idea what that is looks like it might be some kind of editing software but um, but then again it's great for um, 
laptops and desktops, boom mics. I mean, it, it's universal and it has great audio. And like I said, if you don't like the audio on it, you can simply go right into a software and actually change the tone itself. But by itself, used on a desktop or a laptop, I say it's worth every penny that they're asking for it. I will be putting this in my new camera bag that I got that has my laptop, all my camera gear, power supplies, cords, and everything. And this will actually uh, fold up and it locks in as you can see it locks in right there and I can unscrew that right there then I can actually wrap the cord wrap the cord around it right there and I can put it in my bag and it'd be portable for when I'm on the go so this is probably what I would be using most of the time when I'm making a video on my laptop or making a podcast I can use this when I'm actually out in the field out in a different town or you know whatever so this would be very good product add-on for me making my content this is something that's portable so I don't have to carry these these don't fold up as small uh, factor as this does this really folds up and I can make it even smaller I can actually like I said unscrew this then just fold this up and really make it real small so this is very good product um, it's made out of nice sturdy uh, wire mesh it's not plastic um, it's overall great quality audio well structure built portable or even in a studio so I have to give this a thumbs up for a plug-and-play microphone regardless if you're in a studio or on the go on a laptop rather that it's a regular laptop or a Chromebook it will still work if you got any questions Leave them in the comments and I'll get to you as quick as possible. Thank you for watching and take care. Thank you for watching my videos. And if you want to see my latest video, click right here. And if you just want to see a random video that's on my channel, click right here. And if you like the videos on my channel, please just subscribe right here.